Tiger lilies in bloom tell us it's summer in the Cascades. The snows are largely off Mount Stewart. It's time to cross the bridge between civilization and the wilds. As the donkeys leave the trailhead at Beverly Creek on our first pack trip of the season, We'll be entering the Alpine Lakes Wilderness. And it doesn't take long to leave the front country behind when hoofing this trail. Truly a pleasant walk through a landscape cast in volcanic hues, where each step brings us closer to the fading sun and camp for the night. Every corner is a new view. Daybreak is filled with familiar faces as the donkeys have settled in a bit of flat land to their liking, they have no intention of getting out to explore the neighborhood. So it's onward and upward in pursuit of Stewart, the second highest non-volcanic peak in the Cascades. Fabulous. What a, what a scene. Beautiful, brilliant blue skies, greenery coming up, rugged mountains, and then these wild animals that live up here. This is their home. Yet the ridge top saddle reveals only views of the forest below and leftover snow fields from which to gaze at other noteworthy mountains. This is the Tianaway country, where peaks rising over 6,500 feet form the backdrop to a high, harsh world of delicate surprise. The climate here is unique, more east than west as the Tianaway is closer to Ellensburg than Snoqualmie Pass. Flowers like Lupin spring to life when the last of the melting snows let the sun in, while the deeper Cascade Ranges closer to the crest still wear winter's coat. Easy now, you two. This guy's got pretty big horns. Mount Stewart at last. One of the most picturesque peaks in the region, crowning a long ridge of exposed rock. 9,415 feet of absolute granite carved into dramatic shape and form. The drop off the top is nearly a mile straight down. Time for us to take the quick way down, as the distant gap between the trees is the gateway to a closer look at Stewart and the mountain goats that call it home. Oh, baby, it's now. <laughs> Woo! Hey! <laughs> Here we are, back to camp. Dogs were waiting for us, didn't get in any trouble. Hopefully it stays that way as we need to reach the bottom of Turnpike Creek. The way is steep. The trail badly eroded and rocky. In time the route flattens out and the fort of Ingalls Creek is reached. It's a good one we're closer to Stewart than ever. It's time to be lazy for a few hours and take in the sights. Stewart forms an impressive backdrop to emerging glacier lilies and possibly plast flowers. As the day sun begins to wane, the call of the Cascades beckons farewell to the day's adventure. Wow. Really nice.